Hello and welcome to No Code Devs. In this video we'll be making a job board using Editor X and Airtable in under 10 minutes. Check it out. So at first let's create our Airtable database. Right, so add create space in Airtable, create a workspace. Let's call this job board. We could look for a template but we'll not do it for the time being. Let's just start, change this field at the top here to job title notes can be notes this can be let's edit this field to date it's going to be an end date this can be sample this can be pay call that currency uh, and we'll have one for company i'm going to change this to Set of notes and call it job description, job desk. There we go. This is our job database. Let's add a couple of jobs in here. So there we go. I've added some more details to it, some more jobs to the board, and that's all we need for the job board for the time being. Now we could create a more in, in depth one. And what you could do to create a more in depth one is use some of the Airtable templates because they've got a really good in depth job board in the uh, Airtable templates. But for the moment, we're keeping it simple we're using this job board I've just created. Right, now let's go back to Editor X. Now we prepare Editor X to have these jobs in the Editor X. So I'm going to create a new site in my Editor X dashboard. It's going to be Editor X, obviously. Now let's create this one blank. So here's the Editor X site from scratch. Let's add a few bits to it. Let's add this plus sign on the top left hand corner. Let's go to compositions, design sections. Let's have a, a welcome section here. This looks really nice here. Nice big welcome section. It's got the, look at that, there we go. Let's double click on this bit here. I'm going to call this welcome to the job board. Right, perfect. Right. So this is now a blank section underneath. So for this bit here, we want to add our database. Right, so in here, I'm going to add an embed. This is what we need to add our database, because one thing at Airtable is really well, you can add an embed into it. So we come into here, go into embed code. We want to grab this embed, put it into here. Perfect. Right. So then we go back into Airtable. Brilliant things about Airtable, you can do this. So you go share view, create a shareable grid view link. Right, and the, they see there, you can allow viewers to copy data out of this view, which we will allow. You could embed this view on your site. On that. Now, what also a good thing you can do on this, you can have these controls, you can filter, so the user can hide fields, it can filter, can search obviously, can sort, it can group, you can change the raw height if you want to, there we go, extra tall if you want to, you can do all these things, you can download the CSV, you can print view, right, so we want this, you can even turn to this and you can use it as card views, which is like that, which I quite like, so I'm going to use it actually like that, so we're going to copy this, embed code, I'll grab this, copy that, and as you can imagine, you just grab it in here, click on enter code, and paste that there, update, there we go. Now, I see here, it's got some HTML. So width is 100%, height is 533 pixels. Right, so what you might want to do for this, stretch this out how you want it, how long you want this. Now, you can, if you make it longer, it will stop at 533 pixels. But what I can obviously you can do, you can make it as long as you want. So let's stick it at 700 pixels. There we go. Now, as you can see, it goes like that. So it'll be longer, so you see more jobs on it. Unfortunately, what you can't do for this is make it 100% of all the jobs. You know what I mean? So it fits. See, I've one job, it'll be shorter. If I've had 100 jobs, it'll be longer. That's one thing you can't do on this, which is unfortunate. But, as you can see, you've got all the filters and sort and the search on the side there. So let's publish that. Let's preview, and there it is. So that's your job board. All your jobs needs. Let's filter these jobs. Add a condition, contains web. There we go. Let's just filter those other two out because I ain't got the web on it. There we go. Perfect. 
sort by job title. There we go. Sort by, let's get rid of that one. So sort by pay. There we go. So it's obviously got the smallest on top to the biggest at the bottom. So the other way around. There we go. Perfect. So easy. So easy to put onto your site. It looks okay as well. And what you can do, you can click on it as well. Uh, the person can click on it. You can see all the job description, the end date, which is perfect. It's just what you wanted. And then accompany the pay. There we go. Right. Perfect. Let's go back to edit the site. Now add a page. Pages. Add new page. Add a new standard page. And this is going to be job form. And this is going to be same again. We're going to grab it from Airtable. And the magic of this is grab it from Airtable. You don't need any automation tools. You want to create any automations. We grab the put the form for this base in your on your website. We'll go straight to this base so you don't have to add anything. Right. So you don't have to work with any tools. Right. So let's create a new view. It's going to be form. So this is your form. Now to make it so you can add cover image, you've got to use a paywall. Add logo, use paywall. So we're not going to do that for the time being. All the buttons are in here. All the information's in here. If you ever want to get rid of anything, so you want to get rid of, it, get rid of a company name, you can just shove it up there. You can just grab these and move them anyway. You can make some required. So let's make, obviously we want to make the job title required. Definitely want to make the job pay required. Now, if you like this video and want to learn all about no code tools, please subscribe below and follow us at no code devs. There we go. That's what we need. So now all we need to do is share this form. And again, embed this form on your website like we did before. Now we want to make sure we click on this auto size height. Let's grab that, copy that on your website again. Go into the plus, enter in the bed, enter the code again. Chuck that in there, perfect, update, and there's your form. Again, let's make this bigger, so it fits all your form in, by just stretching it, there we go. There we go, that is your form. Right, so as you can see, if I preview this, this is your add a job form, let's add a job, we're going to do a creator, create awesome vids, and CD, end of the week pay 35 there we go submit so now you go into here and you can see that's been created so as you can probably would guess the job will be on here as well which it is look so there we go so I automatically create a job so it's connected up your database is on your site with the jobs you can click on the job that your users can click on the jobs look at the jobs in close, close up you can look into they can add jobs this is all you need for a job board a very simple job board using editor x and airtable i hope you found this useful please check us out at no code devs and keep on building